Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be creating a PlayStation account. So let's just go right into Google. We're gonna type in PlayStation, just go right into it. The first option should be an ad for PlayStation. However, I usually say don't ever, ever select those. Select always the second one because that one would not be an ad. So go right into it. This should be PlayStation.com. From PlayStation.com, on the top right hand corner of your screen, you should see sign in. Now, by the way, I am making this video on a computer. However, you could do the exact same thing on a tablet. And yes, you could do it directly from PlayStation. However, if you just purchased a PlayStation, you wanna get ahead of the game and get your account ready, this is the way to do it. So we're gonna go in into sign in. Under sign in, you will see this. So at this point, you will see on the bottom, it should say create new account. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a new account today. Click on it. And from here, we're gonna click on create again. It will take us to this page where we just put in our birthday. So just put in month, whatever makes sense to you guys, date and year. Again, whatever makes sense to you guys. And then click on next. Once you have done so, you're gonna see this page. So just select your correct region, wherever you guys are at, USA or any other country. Also select your language. Once you have done so, on the bottom right hand side, again, go into next. And from here, we're just gonna fill this up. First portion will be our email, then our password and re-enter a password. Does this mean this will be your password for your email? No, create a new password for your account here in PlayStation. Do not use the same password over and over again in different accounts. So do create a different password right here for your PlayStation account. Once you've done so on the bottom right hand side, once again will be next. You might see at this point in time, a verification like so. So just click on verify. And once you verify, it's just gonna take you to this part. So just put in your city, state, and then your postal code. Once you guys have filled that up, on the bottom, you will see next. And it should take you to this page where you will create your ID. So this is very important. Just type in some ID that you will remember. After you choose one on the bottom, you will see name. So just put in your first name, last name, and lastly, down here, we're gonna select next again. So like I mentioned, just click on next. So at this point, you should see this page, create an account. So these two, it's up to you. Would like to receive news and all that stuff in your email. And same deal goes right here if you like to share your personal information. You don't have to, so you don't need a check mark on either one of those. I am not gonna do that because I don't want that. However, down here, you do have to agree and create an account. So we're gonna go ahead, agree and create account. And there we go, we just created an account. That's it, just press on okay. Once you press on okay, you should see this. So you should see your name that you just chose. We're gonna go ahead on to next. And once again, we can leave a check mark right here and just confirm or just take out those check marks and press confirm as well. At this point, I don't really mind. So I'm just gonna leave those check marks and confirm. And then you should take us to this page where it's gonna tell you that he just sent out an email, okay? So go and check your email, you do need it. And if you didn't get that email, you can press down here below, it's gonna say resend email. So you can always do that as well. On that email, you will get a verification. The email that you will get to verify will look exactly like this. Just press on verify now. Once you've done that, you will see this page where it's gonna say your email has been verified. Just press okay. And that's it, you guys just created an account. We can go back into sign in, just sign into your account right now on the top right hand corner of your screen. And that's it, we just signed in. I can click up there again, and I'm gonna see this. I can go right into my account settings, payments, and all that stuff. So I can add anything that I want. Payment information is very important, so I would suggest going into there and set up your payment. Um, if you guys would like to buy stuff, you can go into account settings and change things. But you can always do this as well from your PlayStation itself. Right now you are ready and we're done with this tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.